things about this number is the approximate number of years that the scientists, um, uh, 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 hello, that the scientists say that the stars blinked on before, uh, 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 blinked on after the Big Bang. That there was a thing that happened and there was no stars and for about a half, uh, uh, about a, a quarter um, of a billion years, about 250 million years, all of a sudden the stars uh, uh, went on. And uh, uh, this has an inverse uh, meaning in the Kabbalah. Instead of a Big Bang, uh, uh, the Zohar explains that there was rather a big evacuation. Because in the um, uh, in the beginning, all there was was called hard light. Light without any space. Therefore, there's no time. Just hard light. And if God wanted a creation, time and space, there had to be made a hole inside of the, uh, uh, the hard light. And that's where creation is. So instead of being... Uh, instead of light coming to us for millions, for millions of years, it was really the opposite, that the shards, the stars, moved from this place. And that's actually where we see that the stars are moving away from us in every direction that we look, because we're actually the center of creation. This is how the Zohar explains it. But this number has a much deeper meaning, Kabbalistic meaning. That 26 is the name of God in, in, in Gematria. Every letter in, in, in Hebrew has a, uh, an equivalent of um, uh, a, a number equivalent. So God's name, yud heh vav is number 26. And the human being is Adam, the first human being that we're all come from, is 45. And the six in between are the six days of creation, which are prototyped to the 6,000 years that we're now at 5,772. I know I'm throwing around a lot of numbers, but it's not, you know, th th this is history, the history of creation. So this is basically what the book is about, but I actually I didn't think so much to talk about my book. I'd rather have people read my book. But I, I thought rather to speak about how I actually came to write this book. It's, it's a rather interesting story. It actually took me 15 years. But first I got this information and I recognized that this answered an unanswerable question. Which is, why did God create creation when God did? And all that they can come up with is there was no time before that. But we see there is time before time, because God played with creation 2,000 years before time. So we see there's this whole web of time. And, and, um, 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 and this answers the question that when time got to that place where uh, man and God could come together through the six days of creation, then God said, stop. Stop in Hebrew is die, so God is called Shaddai. So all these things going out suddenly stopped. The interesting thing about Shaddai is the same gematria as Pi, 314. And that's why they find Pi everywhere in creation. And Shaddai is the name of what that God uses for creation. So I like to interweave all this stuff. And I, I saw this in the very beginning. And I realized that I discovered actually a new constant which would allow people to travel faster than the speed of light. But I was living in...